We're going to go over the Christmas song, William G. Levitt, arrangement of this uh, uh, popular song, a chord melody, and we're just going to go over the chords for right now, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, so starting with your first measure, and I recommend you uh, uh, writing the measure numbers in each measure. Uh, first ending will be measure 7 and 8, second ending will be measure 9 and 10. Okay, so let's get started with the good old C chord. We have picked uh, stops on the E string and then going right to a C 6 9 where your first finger uh, goes across five strings and then your third finger goes across the two strings. That's in seventh position. You may want to cite that out. You know, when you go from C to C 6 9 get a sight of where that seventh fret is, where that dot is, and then you'll have good success reaching that. Next four chords are a series of augmented seventh chords, which start off on the seventh fret with this fingering, and then go down two frets each. And they catch the melody. Catches that melody. And then you come out to C major 7, which is the C chord without the first finger, all the way, all the way to the E string, and then the eighth note twice, A minor 7, and then D minor 9, which is in the third position, third first finger is in the third fret, and then it is played over the middle four strings. Next chord is labeled D flat 7 flat 9, which it is, but in, uh, in this arrangement, it turns out to be the same as an A flat diminished. Third position, you have to bar over those three inside strings, and then the third fingers in between those is on the, actually on the third uh, string and the fourth fret. Second finger is on the fourth fret, also on the sixth string. Okay, so you have that progression. And then going down to a C6. Now C6 is usually has has the uh, has the fourth finger on the C, but in this voicing, the C uh, the uh, pinky is moved down to the G. And of course, you mute that A string, the fifth string. That's your C6 in this arrangement. And next is the D9 with a sharp 5. And that's basically what it is. You know, you have a D, a D flat, I'm sorry, D flat 9. And then you're going to add the sharp 5 here with your pinky. Because here's the 5th, and you sharp the 5th. All right, and the next chord is C9 with a sus 4. Which was one of the easiest chords on the guitar because it's, uh, first finger across five strings all the way across. The melody is up top. Then play the melody note with the fourth finger, sixth fret, second string. Then go to the C7, C dominant seven. And then lift that pinky for that uh, melody note. So that measure. And then you resolve it measure 4 to F major 7 down the first position and now we're going to E7 with a sharp 5 and this chord I originally uh, mislabeled it on your sheet but uh, you're gonna bring it here uh, it lo looks like a D chord that you're gonna put down on the fifth fourth and third string so it'll progress to measure 4 A minor 7, uh, second finger on the 5th fret, 3rd finger across uh, the 4th and 3rd strings to pick up that melody, and then 2, 3, and 4 will do that B flat 9, okay, and then coming back to a C major 7 and the 3rd fret, and then you're going to, and then that quarter note triplet, you can make that short, then bar uh, with your first finger across the uh, top four strings to get that next chord on the third uh, quarter note of that quarter note triplet. And then B 
B7 sus4, which is a six string chord. So you go first, it will go all across all six. Third finger will be on the fifth string, ninth fret. Fourth finger will be on the on the uh, uh, third string, ninth fret. And then resolve it to this chord, B dominant seven, which you actually put your pinky there, and your second finger on the eighth fret. So it suspended. Resolution. You can go E E major seven, and then we're going to go up one fret to F minor seven, and we're going to add that pinky B flat. Then come to the F minor seven uh, four chord form right there, and then this is actually labeled a B flat seven, but it's a B flat thirteen. The melody note up here on the G. And then go to the take the second finger down to that F on the second string. And then E flat, E flat major seven. Same chord form as we had in the previous measure. And then same progression that we had in that in the measure seven. Only on the fifth fret, third fret. So the seventh and eighth uh, measures are gonna be E flat major seven. spot to practice over and over just those two measures and they're going to go uh, for a return uh, repeat uh, that uh, those first few bars and then I'm going to go right to the second ending all right so we're coming out I'll, I'll take it from measure six and I'll skip to the second ending C major seven now second ending E, e minor seven and I want you to pick up this next note, open E. So just lift that up. And then you go to C. Okay, that again. Let me play that first that first part for you all the way through. And okay, nice and slow. Okay, so we're going to part two after this. <laughs> 